everyone, it's Nisha. So today I'm going to do um, this tag. Sorry, I'm going to be reading here from my screen. Uh, it is called a little bit of everything tag. Um, I saw the blonde tea party doing it and I will leave a link to her channel below. Uh, and I thought it was quite nice tag. So I thought I'd do it and um, I will tag people underneath, underneath this video. Okay, so the first question is, do you keep, keep up with the Kardashians? Um, I don't keep up with them, but if I come across it on the telly, I do watch it. I love reality TV. I watch all the housewives if I can. Um, and it's mainly for the fashion, for the makeup. Um, yeah, so I do watch it, but I don't keep up with them. Number two, if you could have an old muscle car, which one would you choose? Uh, what's a muscle car? Is it like blokey car or I don't know? I'm not into cars that much, really. Um, I like my car to be pretty and comfortable. <laughs> Number three, do you curse like a sailor when the camera isn't rolling? Yes, I do curse a lot. Um, and I know it's not very ladylike. I don't do it everywhere in public, but I do. If I hurt myself, if something goes wrong, I do. And it's been scientifically proven that if you're in pain, cursing lessens the pain. So, so it is quite helpful. Also, I um, I find it okay to do is because, as you know, English is not my first language. And I always explain to people, if I taught you swear words in Polish, you would know they were swear words, but they don't really mean anything to you if you know what I mean because you haven't grown up with that they don't sound so bad to you they just sound nice and unfortunately a lot of um, swear words English swear words sound very nice to me so that's my excuse number four by the way you have to be very honest on this tag and number four if your significant other gave you a whole pass who would you use it on? Be honest. Oh, who would I use it on? I quite like Bradley Cooper. I could use it on him, easy. And I think actor, the, the actor that is going to be Christian, Christian Grey in Fifty Shades of Grey. What's his name? Jamie Dornan, something like that. You've seen my pictures of him on Instagram. I think he's quite yummy. Um, far too young for me, but yes, I definitely use my whole pass on him. Uh, number five, what is one thing you do that you hate to admit? Oh, I don't really know. Nothing, I'm perfect. <laughs> Um, number six, do you really brush your teeth in the morning and night? Be honest. Yes, I do, but unless I'm really tired or drunk. Uh, seven, what is your go-to drink at Starbucks? I don't go often to Starbucks. If I do, I have any coffee. Um, really, I'm not fast. Um, is your current hair colour your real hair colour? Oh yes, of course. Now, you know my colour. I bleach my hair. I have two colours in my hair. I have bleach and uh, L'Oreal Majorel Professional colour in. Um, I have a mixture of 5 and 6.3. If you could swap bodies with someone, who would it be and why? Oh, I definitely swap my body. I swap my body with someone very slim, very toned, and he's about 20 years old. I can't think of any celebrity at the top of my head that I would like to look like, but yeah, someone very young with gorgeous figure. And very toned. Number 10. Have you read Fifty Shades of Grey? If so, why did what did you think? Okay. Of course I read Fifty Shades of Grey. I loved it. 
Okay, I think the the writing was very bad. Uh, just it wasn't very good writing. The story was quite good. I'm not into the kinky stuff and all this, but I think why most of us like this book is nothing to do with the sex, really, and the type of sex that it is. It's to do with this um, fantasy that we can take a man and change him and live happily ever after. That's what I really liked this this um, fairy tale of this man that was so um, mentally damaged and uh, at first you wouldn't think could have healthy loving relationship ends up in a healthy loving relationship and another thing I I think that I liked about it is the fact it's not the control bit but the feeling that you have this effect on a man that um, that he finds you so attractive and that he becomes almost possessive. Not that I would like to be someone possessive of, over me, but do you know what I mean? If you know that someone finds you attractive, that makes you feel very powerful and sexy um, yourself. So I think that's why most of us like this book. I tell you if you want to read something similar but much better, his book is a trilogy as well by Sylvia Young. I'm sure it's Sylvia Young. I will check that and put it down below and the first book is called Bear to You um, it is very very similar concept to Fifty Shades of Grey the sex is normal not kinky and it's much better written so I like that book that trilogy much much more than Fifty Shades of Grey okay that's it but I'm still gonna watch the film uh, do you crack your knuckles? No, I, I don't know how to do it and when I hear people doing it, it freaks me out. Uh, have you accidentally text messaged someone something you were supposed to be sending to a special someone? No, thank Christ. Um, have you ever created a fake profile to creep on someone? No. <laughs> no. Um, number 14. Which is your weakness... Cookies or pastries? None. I don't really have a sweet tooth. I have a sweet tooth just once a month, you know, that time where I will have a tiny bit of chocolate. I am much more savoury person, so um, cookies and pastries. Give me cookies and pastries and then give me uh, French bread with butter and I'm straight into that bread. Um, Fifteen. <laughs> God, what do you love about yourself? I wouldn't say I love things about myself. Um, I think I think I am a very good friend, and that's what I like about myself. If you, if I'm your friend, you have a friend for life. But because I'm Scorpio, if you cross me, I will never forget. Uh, so. Um, but yeah, I am a very good friend. I love helping people um, and I'm real. You get what you see. So I suppose that. Do you have to match your nail polish to your toenail polish? No, never bothered me. Um, and because, you know, I use gel or shellac, the gel on your toes can last for up to six weeks but on your fingers I change it every two weeks so um, no it's never matching I probably wouldn't do something like red and pink if I had red toes I wouldn't have pink nails but I can have different shades of pink on my nails that on my toes than on my nails so no I'm not that bothered my mother is hi mom <laughs> Tell us a few things about you that people would be surprised to know about you. I'm going to skip that one because I I don't know. I, there is nothing so mysterious and surprising about me that you need to know. Um, heels or flats? Flats. Sorry. Flats, definitely flats. Every day, flats, flats. In a summer, flip-flops. Run around in flip-flops. If I want to be a bit more, I don't know, feel a bit 
less casual and my wear wedges because they are comfy but heels just for special occasions I mean it's impossible to run errands in your heels going to supermarket or or shopping all day no way so yeah flats definitely um, if you could do anything for one day and money was an option how would you spend your day dream big oh. I think as I love shopping I think I would go and I would be flown to New York on a private plane um, I would be staying in the best hotel um, I would have a limo to my disposal and a personal shopper and I'll be driven around shopping all day then I go to a good restaurant and then go and see good show I would like to do that the whole weekend though not just for one day um, yeah I think isn't that shallow that's so shallow but it was dream big you know I'm not about to enter a, a beauty pageant and want to save the world um, it's about my dream isn't it yeah shallow shallow but that's what I would do um, what was the last YouTube video you watched the last YouTube video I watched was uh, my friend Karen from um, Mrs Ginger beauty channel um, and it was her review of the new YSL foundation which I found very helpful um, do you have a road rage major massive road rage um, oh I think I'm a very good driver uh, and yes I do get a very bad road rage especially when I'm um, on my PMT I feel I always say, thank God guns are not allowed because I would be in prison. <laughs> um, yes, yes, I get road rage. What is your favourite rock and roll song? Don't have one. Who was your first kiss? You used to talk to them. Hmm. Um, yes, I remember my first kiss because it was a big, 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 big deal for me. I think I was 15. I've never kissed anyone before. And I was so afraid that I wouldn't know how to do it. He was my first boyfriend. He was a year older than me. Um, he dumped me soon after because I think I was so innocent and and I didn't know how to kiss. And I definitely was not ready to do anything else. So he dumped me and started going out to someone else. So there. Uh, <laughs> and no, we don't keep in touch. If you could have one YouTuber's closet, whose would it be? I don't know. I don't really watch many, um, many like style videos, you know, when people do lookbooks and stuff like that. Um, so, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I don't watch many of those, so I really don't know. Um, if you could have a wah YouTuber's makeup collection, which horse would it be? Oh God, there is so many here. They have a fantastic makeup collection. Most of the makeup artists that are here. But would I really? No, I wouldn't. Actually, I wouldn't want to have anybody's collection because that would mean that I can't go and buy anything else. I would have had everything and I enjoy buying the makeup. So I don't want anybody else's. Do you have a nickname? Um, I could say that Nisha is my nickname because that's not my real name. My real name is Agnieszka. Um, so, but everybody calls me Nisha because it's easier. Um, some people call me Nish. Um, and my husband often calls me Pixie. So, <laughs> pixie or pics. Um, so, that's quite cute. But, no, other than that, no. 
what do you think is the best thing about your YouTube channel? Um, I think honesty. Um, and I hope friendliness. I hope you all feel like I'm your friend and I'm here to help in any way I can. So, yeah. How many cars have you had? What were they? Okay. My first car when I first uh, passed my driving test was Austin Maestro and uh, a lot of people didn't even know what it was. It was one of those that still had that chop pulley thing that you had to do. Uh, so that was my first car. Then I had a couple, co couple of company cars um, and I think one was Ford Fiesta, one was Peugeot 206, I can't remember. Then I had um, my little sporty red Hyundai Coupe and then I got pregnant so I had to get rid of that and that's when uh, we became Mercedes people. My husband always has a Mercedes and I've had, um, I've had the Mercedes A-Class for five years, then I had Mercedes B class for three years, then I had B class again because I love them. I love cars that you are a bit higher in um, and they are small but you can put a lot in them. Um, just easy to get around basically. And what I have now is because they've stopped making the um, Mercedes B class, the higher one is just like a normal car now. I've gone for Kia, Kia Sportage in white, and I love it. I love it. It's much bigger than the B class, but I'm nice and high up. It's very comfortable. I'm, I'm not that into cars. Like I said, I like to be high up and comfortable, and for the car to look quite pretty. That's all I care about. It doesn't have to be really flashy car or very fast car that's it uh, what's your favorite pizza double pepperoni i very rarely eat pizza because it's very fattening i always have thin crust and it's mostly double pepperoni um if you could have only one lipstick for the rest of your life which lipstick would you choose hmm. it is a bit difficult but um you know I always go on about the Revlon lid butter in Cupcake and I think I stick by it because I love so many of my other lipsticks, um, high-end, drugstore, but that one I feel I can use day, night, winter or summer. So, so yeah, that would be the one. That's it. Gosh, that was 30 questions, quite long. I hope it wasn't too long. Yes, I will put a few names down below of people that I would like to do this tag. Uh, I hope you enjoy that. Thank you very much for watching and i see you soon. Bye!